Peace Reflections, you are over here with Tarethia and you already know what time it is. We are back on the art of war, okay? Now, we were reading the 48 Laws of Power, but I said, I think we need to switch it up. October is coming, so it's time for us to get skilled with the wheel reflection. Okay, all my magicians come to the forefront because we are talking about the art of war, okay? Now, the art of war can be used throughout your everyday life or it can be used in do you believe in magic. Remember, this is a realm of endless possibilities speaking of endless possibilities you got to know reflection there's more than one way to do anything don't never let a person tell you it's only one way to move don't ever let a person tell you it's only one way to solve a problem don't ever let a person tell you it's only one pathway to take to reach the top of their pyramid do you hear what i'm trying to say to you reflection okay so it's no different and do you believe in magic okay so how do we know though how do i know to read this? that is only that is more than one way to do something well think about it like this there are only five five musical notes right there are only five major musical notes but think about how many songs have been written think about that reflection okay remember numbers don't lie people lie but numbers don't lie let's keep it going there are only five primary colors what are our five primary colors we have blue we have yellow we have red and we have white and we have black now think about that reflection. Those are only five primary colors, the five major colors. But think about all of the colors that we know. And there are certain colors that um we can't even see with our eyes, reflection, that we can't see on this realm with our eyes. So think about that reflection. Think about out of these five main colors these five primary colors all of the colors that were created and all the colors that were um, made think about that so it's never more than one way to do anything okay now there are five cardinal tastes we have five different tastes sour sweet bitter acidy think about all of that reflection when you think about that and you think about all of my food lovers out there, there are so many different ways to create certain dishes, reflection, okay? There are so, so many different. Think about all my um drinkers out there or my wine drinkers out there. There are different types of wines. There are different types of mixed drinks. There are different types, but it's all made from five particular tastes, reflection, okay? Have you ever tasted something and it was bittersweet, okay? Have you ever tasted something and it was sour but kind of sweet at the same time? Think about it like that, reflection. Have you ever seen some colors and you was like, it looked like it could be blue, but is it violent? which one is it reflection those colors were made out of primary colors those tastes that you are tasting was made from those five cardinal tastes those beautiful songs that you hear reflection whether it is a church song whether it's hip-hop whether it's pop whether it's rock reflection it all comes from these five main musical notes so never Never think it's one way to get something done. And you have to know that in the art of war. We're still talking about the art of war over here, okay? Reflection. Now, there are two types of methods in the art of war, okay? You have direct and you have indirect. You have up close and personal and you have in the background, hey, listen. Who said it was me? No face, no case. Okay, reflection. But at the same time, it's different ways to go about being direct. It's different ways to go about being indirect. We're going to talk about that more throughout the art of war. But we're just going through the threshold right now, reflection. Okay, now you have to know which direction is best to take for certain situations. Okay, is this me being direct me being up close and personal me letting them know who i am reflection letting them know my game plan is this direct approach the best approach for this situation or is it better to be indirect should i not let them see that hand should i put that hand behind my back reflection and keep it hidden what should i do it is a different situation for a different um it's a different um method for every situation reflection but even though it's only two methods it's several ways to get things done okay it's several ways to be direct it's several ways to be indirect so just because one way didn't work don't think it's not another way to work there's several different pathways okay now you have to remember this is a big one timing is key we know timing isn't real but timing is key reflection now what do i mean when i say timing is key you don't want to wait too long to act and you don't want to um 
go too soon. You don't want to act too soon without having all the information that you need. And you don't want to wait too late and let the moment pass. Reflection, okay? Think about it. Think about it like that. Think about sharpshooters and different things like that. Reflection is not, um, they have to measure the wind. They have to measure, it's timing with everything. Reflection, a second off could cause that um aim to be a hit or a miss so timing is key all right and it's no different with do you believe in magic timing is key you got to know when to when to um get those herbs together baby and when to you get what i'm saying baby i'm just gonna i'm gonna let you build your karma up just a little bit more because when i hit i don't want them to say i'm over here fucking with universal laws okay reflection we talking about the art of war over here we talking about do you believe in magic that's what we're talking about reflection okay now you need to be very prompted your decisions be very prompt reflection remember time is key sometimes you don't have time to sit there and think about it remember sometimes the person that moved the slowest reflection sometimes it can be a life or death situation okay the person that moved the slowest reflection shit that could cause your whole spell work to be thrown off reflection just think about it remember intentions is the first ingredient within spell work but at the same time reflection intentions and timing they got they kind of go together you need to um be very precise with your timing all right so with that being said you don't want to do um something that should be done under a full moon under a new moon shit we releasing it we not calling in new energy you got to know reflection okay so be prompting your decisions and all of this goes with the next one stay prepared if you stay prepared you don't got to get prepared if you keep your herbs your incense your candles and all that shit your oils reflection if you keep you a good stash of it i ain't telling you get a whole lot but if you keep your song on handy even when you up sometimes even when you feel like i'm not being psychic attacked i don't have any enemies you always got somebody in the room it's always a hater in the room whether you recognize them or not just because you're having a good day don't mean the next person around you is having a good day energy don't die energy you just keep going and every great magician knows it's always a hater in the room it's always one reflection it's always one whether they outside the room or inside the room peeking in the wonder they're there you gotta know that so stay prepared so you don't have to get prepared okay don't have your guards down so always move in silence why is this this is key right here every master magician know how to move in silence because when you get to speaking out what you're going to do when you get to speaking about um all the things that you do want and all the things that you're manifesting and reflection didn't i just tell you it's a hater in every room it's a hater in every room they want to sit on your throne baby they want to take over the whole kingdom they want they feel like you got that kingdom by a uh, coincidence reflection they feel like all the things that you said over there and manifest it it came easy for you reflection did you hear what i'm saying to you so you have to move in silence because you never know who is in the background wishing ill upon your manifestations you never know who is in the background hoping for your your demise hoping that you fall on that magic wand reflection so think about that okay know how to move in silence know to stay prepared so you don't have to get prepared know to be very prompt in your, in your decision sometimes you just got to make that decision reflection sometimes time and it's key all right and you don't want to miss the key in the doorknob you don't want to miss it then you put your key in there and it's stuck in shit all right you have to know reflection there are direct and indirect methods those are the two methods to um the art of war okay direct and indirect but you have to also know when to be direct don't show your hand too soon and they'll they, they, they come back with four fingers reflection and you know you have to know when to be indirect as well all right and remember we are talking about do you believe in magic but this rule can be applied throughout your everyday life there's not only one way to do something throughout life there's not only one way to get something done when one door closes on you go open another one reflection don't wait for them to show you where the door is go find it yourself okay because this is your movie when you leave reflection the whole movie is over until next time i shake.